and welcome back to a new week, new game. This is that segment of my channel where I go through the many games that I have somewhere. And I play the ones that I haven't played yet. Because there's too many games and not enough time. Today's game is looking for aliens. It's essentially a Where's Waldo type game. Uh, we're gonna go over to the Steam store page. You're gonna lose the music because I'm doing this though, but I wanna read to you the description that they have here on the Steam store page. Aliens are among us. Knew it. Can you find traces of them on Earth, the moon, and the edges of the galaxy? Find all the clues to prove the existence of alien civilizations and discover how making fried eggs can end up in a monster attack. The tags that are used for this game are hidden object, casual, puzzle, point and click. I do love me a little casual type game to where you can just sit back and relax from those times where you may get Frustrated fighting a boss on Black Myth Wukong, or the fact that your graphics jump all over the place when the benchmark tool said, hey, this is a good setting. That got a little personal, but moving on. This game was released December 8th, 2021. It was developed by Eustas and published by Alawar Casual and MA Games. I'm pretty sure I picked this up at fanatical through a bundle of some sorts because this honestly does not look like a game that i personally would go out of my way to purchase for just that game but i say that about games and then i find out kind of like the game so give games a chance if there's a demo available for a game and you're on the fence or even if you're like this game looks like hot garbage you play that demo and you find out if it's hot garbage damn it anyways without further ado let's get in the game we're gonna just start at stage one not much really menu interaction here blorb good day dear viewers you're watching space news i'm blorb and i'm here to bring you the latest news from across the galaxy the Ministry of Tourism has tightened its rules for having picnics on Earth. Our special correspondent, Bubble Goo, is reporting live from the scene. Hello, my adoring fans! From Andorama to Nibiru, I, your beloved Bubble Goo, am with you! Mr. Goo, get to the point, please. Airtime is expensive. Quiet, Blob, my boy. Your star is fading. It's time for you to bask in light of my supernova. Goo, don't make me mad. Silence! It is my turn to speak. Earth is the forever gateway of aliens of every like ilk. But you must remember, humans must not know about us. So, don't feed the humanoids, and before you leave the planet, gather your trash, and then take it with you. Uh, Clark disguised himself well. You can tell the difference between him and a human. Okay. Alright, I guess we find this one. There's Clark! Look on there. And then we're looking for what looks like keys. Little, little keys. Something like, oh, I don't know. That over there. Uh, can we also find an envelope? And what looks like a ray gun. Envelope. So if I click on that, there we go, ray gun. Click on this. That opens the pizza box. Okay, so you click a few things and it's got like little interactions to them. Oh, we gotta find three of these little bag things. Oh. One 
right there. Oh, it's a snake. Up here. Here. Uh, boop, there's that. Didn't see the envelope, though. Still looking for the envelope. There it is. In the mailbox, of course. And then the keys. Never found the keys. this looks like a card it's like this thing oh it's running away nope hmm here oh oh Ammo. so we can I click on these guys and they do a thing eat all the food. Ah! We did it! Welcome to Earth! Level 1 task complete! Find every object on level 1. Yes, yes we did. So that's how we go back. Bubble goo! Yeehaw, cowboys! We are reporting live from an Earth farm where an interplanetary travel company has placed an advertisement in one of the fields. Who would have thought it would attract the attention of the natives rather than its target audience? Let's investigate this occurrence firsthand. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing a true lover of aliens and a fan of you and me. In order not to frighten the locals, I'm going to use a disguise. Just this human on the front of it there. Allow me to introduce our guest, a man who thinks he knows everything about us. He assembled an alien detector using a microwave oven, three plastic tubes, and a bag of chips. For two years, he's tracked the neighbor's cat, thinking it was an alien. Here's the honorary bearer of the foil cap, John! My name is Sean. Sorry, Sean. Tell our viewers what happened here. Incredible phenomenon. Uh, crop circles. Aliens want to tell us something. I'm sure they're getting ready to invade us. You and I know the only thing we're looking to invade are the wallets of tourists. We saw how carefully you examined the scene, John. My name is Sean. Whatever. Did you find anything interesting? I didn't, but if we keep looking, I'm sure we'll find more clues. What confidence! What preservations! Preservance! In that case, keep looking while we watch. Alright. That's who drew the crop circles. Catch the alien. Alright. Ooh, this guy here looks a little suspicious, eh? Eh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Extrovert, tap 10 humanoids. Alright, we got an achievement for doing that. Blap. Uh, what else are we looking for? We're looking for the scarecrow that drew the crop circles. Hey, look at that guy. Oh, apparently it was on the list. I'm just clicking everything. You can stop dreaming that, thank you. Each dog. 
Hey, what are you doing up there? Little blue man. Oh, it's cat. Hey. Thank you. It's card of Sean. So I got a watering can. Cow, there it is. I can zoom out too. Uh, let's see, zooming out actually does give us quite a bit of uh, a view to see everything. Let's see if we can find that old scaredy crow. Click this. You guys gonna do anything? What's that? Aha! Level two task complete. Uh, so I gotta find three more of those blue aliens. Who's in the trunk? Who do you got in the trunk? Uh, I need to find a water can. Where's that water can at? Just carve eyes into the pumpkins. Hey, all right. Clicked on that guy. Aha! Found one. your frame water can what else are we missing Good old Bessie is gone, a bit alien subductor. Bruce, get out of the car. It's time to start filming. So Bruce is in a car, huh? Which car are you in, Bruce? Which car are you hiding in, Brucey boy? In this one? Oh, oh. Bob him. Bob him. Uh, let's see. Where's Where's a Bruce? That almost looks like Bruce. Gotta find Bruce. Who is apparently in a car. And then there's also this guy. Oh. There must be an alien in the attic, or at least a photograph of him. I don't see a photograph anywhere. Aha! I found this guy. It's just about like clicking on everything. 
find somewhere around here. A picture frame and this guy with the glasses. Which we have no idea where that guy could be. completed that and I could move on to the next thing but I still want to find these other two things oh wait shutters here we go bam it's camera it's cow that's cow hmm Where the heck could this guy be? The only clue is Bruce get out of the car. It's time to start filming. Bruce in one of these cars? As we clicked on all of these cars. Ah, I didn't click the back of it though. We found them. And we found every object on level two. So now we can move on with our lives and be, you know, that much more proud of ourselves. Blorb. We continue to broadcast live from Earth. Correspondent Bubble Goo is here to give you the scoop. Long life and prosperity to you, dear viewers. Presenting the incomparable Bubble Goo. We're undercover in the midst of an intriguing cultural event known as an ufologist convention. It's the celebration of life of every Earthling fan of aliens. When Earthlings attend these conventions, they dress up as various fantastic creatures. This is what they think you and I look like, dear viewers. Look, Blob, someone came to the party dressed as you. Lots of rock. Exactly. What a striking resemblance. I don't know how the Earthling was able to be this accurate. And this brings us to the conclusion of... Blorb! Are you serious? Why not take a closer look? I'm sure our viewers would be interested in watching these touching little humans. Indeed. The best part of coming to a ufologist convention is we don't need to disguise ourselves. We can appear before humans in all our glory. They'll just think we're wearing an incredibly realistic costume. All right, this almost kind of looks like it's like Burning Man or something. Got to find these guys. Boom, 11-0. Along with finding... Sean is making a huge stuffed alien. The right hand is done. Let's see if we find Sean here. Oh, there's a lot of people here. Oh, this is massive. It just keeps getting bigger. So there's a huge stuffed alien. Somewhere around here. Who do we also need to find those guys? Uh, keep an eye out for that. Go the wrong way. Okay, we're looking for a left and a right hand. 
stuff in his left hand in his tent. Strange, the head was just here, probably rolled behind a stone. Lem found a secluded spot for himself. It's dark and full of rubbish, but he doesn't mind. Oh, so many things. I guess we just click on everything. Eventually we'll figure out that it's one of the things we're looking for. Taster, eat 10 food items. Just got an achievement for that. Take that, take that. Put that campfire on fire. Just clicking. Hey, that rock took off. Like, how did I get up here? How do I get back down? Hmm. Oh, there we go. Boom! Food concession stand. Eat all the food items because they give you achievements, apparently. And we just eat it a slice at a time. Just clicking on things like, is this what I'm supposed to be looking for? Boom, we just made the giant alien. Nice. Found a secluded spot for himself. It's dark and full of rubbish, but he doesn't mind. <laughs> I got all these people. You're holding up the lines. Aha. Boom, found it. Where could the dark rubbishy place be? What a strange watermelon, it seems suspicious. I think it might be back here at this watermelon area. It's a watermelon that is just shaped like a shell. Found that alien. They continue to eat all the food. That uh, one guy. Oh, a dark place secluded and full of rubbish. Aha! I figured it was inside of a dumpster. Hmm. Ammo. Ammo. Uh, let's see. This is my ultimate creation. This hamburger with a decorated. I uh, would decorate the counter nicely. Let's 
trying to see if that one watermelon shaped like a shell would be over here. And I don't see weird. Aha, I figured that was something. I don't see any weird old looking shell. Apparently an alien with a horse head. Let's see, where is... For some weird hamburger. Uh... Four flat tires, what rotten luck. Where did Molly put those spares? Yeah, look for Molly standing next to... Oh, okay. You just gotta, I guess, click all the... Spare tires. Bam, and then found her. Level 3 task completed. Guess we only have to complete a certain amount of tasks. But we don't have to complete all of them? Well, that's just crazy talk. We have to complete all of them. I guess for those who want to move on, they make it so that way you can. I see you there. I already clicked on them. You! What are you doing behind there? Aha! Doop. Doop. in the box. Stack of cards. There's some other hints for things. Do do. I'm a real cowboy. I get it. I get it. there an area with like cows or something around it could just be hidden amongst the crowd somebody here somewhere there they are all right Carl waited too long and couldn't stand it but what's he going to do now leaving now would be embarrassing that sounds like a porta potty thing Carl Carl. There he is. Uh, let's see. What else we got? We got this burger in the melon that's got a shell to it. Uh, I think over by like the food or concession stand area. We've been around here a few times. There's the burger. Uh, let's see. The melon that's shaped like a shell. Oh, shell melon. Where are you, shell melon? There's the big ol' melon area.
think shell melon's probably the only thing that we haven't found. There it is. Ah, let me get all of the odd things. Yeah, those are all check marks. So now it's just about fighting these four pink alien guys. Wherever they may be hiding. Where could they be? I'm surprised we still have four. That's not the. It's not one of them. Check all the tents. You realize these rolled up in two ways. Nothing in either of those. I feel like they're like behind something. It's like where I can't really see them. In just about every tent. Ah, uh, the tents. Still got three more. Oh, hey, <laughs> they're just all three chilling over here. <laughs> Woo, we need it. Aliens among us, friend, every object. On stage three. We did it. We did a good thing. How long have we been uh, going for? 35 minutes. All right. I think that is a good time to not do this. To not do this one. To go, go back. I can't go back. This just takes me right to it. I gotta just skip that. Go to the menu. This is where I want to end here for looking for aliens uh, it's a good game it is just a nice casual cozy type game it has some little funny narrations to it uh, if you're into those type of where's waldo uh, hidden item find type games 
definitely one for you. Has a lot of achievements or plenty of achievements. Collect every collectible card, find all collectibles on all levels. Level four tasks complete, finding everything, just completing all the different levels here. Uh, level 10 tasks, level 11, 12, 13, 14, uh, 15, 16. 17. Oh god, I guess there's a whole lot more of these things. I thought it was just these 11 And then earning every achievement Eating a hundred food items turn on 10 monitors turn on 50 monitors Tap 100 humanoids. So there you go tap Everybody eat all the food and turn all the monitors on that's something you got to do as well along with finding all collectibles on all level and collecting every collectible card which I think there's one per level I'm not uh, not 100% but we did find one on every level so yeah lots of achievements lots of things to do and it seems as though the levels get bigger and have more things in them the further you go so the increase in difficulty also a nice thing some people like a challenge and I think that's why people like these kinds of things is because you like the challenge of looking and trying to find things. I was big into doing Where's Waldo back when I was in elementary school because it technically counted as a book and it didn't really have words that I needed to read. <laughs> that's why I like those so much. I also like challenging myself every once in a while too. But, uh, yeah, I'll give the game a thumbs up. Is it a game that I can see myself coming back and playing again? Maybe if I was doing achievement hunting or collecting, I would come back to do the achievements. I say they don't seem too difficult, but searching and finding all these things could be time consuming. And it could be something that will turn into like a tedious task, depending on like what you have to do, like these next like here, level 5 and 6, 15 things. It was 13 things on level 3. We're going to a place now that's only got 8. But, uh, oh yeah, there's there's a lot of these different areas here. And I'm sure it just gets more difficult as it goes on. So it'd be something you would do, not like all in one sit down. But like coming back and maybe spending an hour or two searching and finding the things online or not online searching and finding the things on levels uh that would be you know it's fun it's a good pastime it's what games are it's about having fun and having pastimes having pastime fun but yeah the only only way i see myself coming back to doing it is to do the achievements things anyways that is gonna do it for me Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next game. Goodbye.